Welcome to Great Minds Tutorials. It's your favorite tutor, Hadisa. And in this episode, I'm going to be continuing with our object oriented programming in Java language. So, in today's episode, I want to show you how you can move all of those methods, put them inside your interface, and then you are going to be implementing the interface with a manager class. So in this case, I'm going to go to my uh, app student, which I've created in the previous episode. I think it's episode number three and number four, uh, episode four and episode number five, if I'm not mistaken. So when I get here, I click here, I right click. Then I'm going to start with my interface. And then when I start with my interface, I'm going to write it as a student. interface and here we have agreed that it's com the great minds the www it should be great minds tutorials there we go I've added it inside there. So now what I'm going to be doing here is that I'm going to be then um, running this and see that I want to have a public. Let's just go, go back and copy it and paste it. So under my uh, student class, which is my backend class, this is what I want to implement. I want to implement a public that is going to return a double and then I'm going to call it calculate. mark and that is how you're going to write it you do not write it with a body you end it with a semicolon why right, because this side is inside the interface so okay now what i'm going to be doing is then i'm going to take this and then i'll have to go and implement it inside a manager class so i'm going to come here create a java class i'm going to call it student manager And here I'm gonna have com dot grid minds tutorials www. So I'm having a third one. So okay. Now what I'm gonna be saying here is that I'm gonna be saying that this it implements this is how you show that there is a relationship you're going to implement your your interface so it implements the student interface so in this case after when i've implemented the student interface it's going to say that i have to imp implement all the abstract um, methods so you click here it's going to implement that abstract method which is to calculate the mark and then in here what i'm going to be doing is then i'm going to be going here then i'm going to be taking this uh, i'm going to cut cut the whole thing then i'm going to come here and paste it under this and then I'm going to go back to student again and remove this. So we are moving from the method of us writing our methods inside our backend class. We're implementing an interface where we are going to declare the method that we're going to be working with. In the near coming future, I'm going to be writing full programs which are going to be expanding on the information. Now I'm just doing a simple program, which is just dealing with the theory. All right now, so this mark, we need to get it from the other side. So basically what we can do is that we can pass this mark from here. Let us let the user pass the mark. We can say that uh, we have an end, we have the mark itself. Let us let the, the user pass the mark and then 
we are going to go back to your interface and here it also has to have the same uh, parameter as it is this side so if i say save now it's fine so i'll go back to my main which is this side and if you check obviously in our main we are now going to have an error why because the calculate is no longer there so what we do is that you go back to your student manager you need to go and create a constructor you need to have a default constructor so that you can do class instantiation so right click as we do it in set code then you see constructor then you need to make it as a default constructor that is what you're going to use in order for you to create the object for this manager class so and then you go back to your main class which is this side the side where you're having your main method then when you get here you're going to create a student manager method uh, or object so i'm going to label it as new student manager like that that should be able to create the but now i need to import so i'm going to add from the great minds i just left out an a here it's supposed to be manager then after doing that, now it means whenever I get here, I'm no longer using the stud in order for me to calculate the mark. Then in this case, I'm gonna say student manager dot calculate mark and here is it. Here is the method calculate mark. Then what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna be sending the mark to that side. It should be able to calculate and give me the 60%. So if I run this application with whatever that I've introduced, it should be able to do the very same thing. Uh, my name is Kodiso. My surname is Mashile. And my age 22, 1111. And then the last time we had a 90, it was able to calculate the 60%. And there you have it. It's still able to work. Let's run it with different information just to show you. Uh, let's say my name is Calvin. Uh, my surname is Moyo. And two uh age is twenty eight and uh two 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 two. Even if it's five, it's fine. Let's say now we had a bright student who got a very high mark, one thirty out of one fifty. Then there you have it. As you can see here, we are having eighty six point six 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 seven percent. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit of extras that uh how do you then format this so it's easy for you to format that what you do you come back here you go you run um you do a class instantiation of what we call a decimal format so you can call it df say new if you want to deal with uh decimal numbers you want to convert them you will say decimal format and inside here, you will put a hashtag. Uh, you'll put a point, hashtag, hashtag. And then this side, what you do here, you will have to import it here under your text, decimal format. And then when you get here, you are just going to say df.format. And then inside here, you're going to put whatever that you want to format. And I want to format this whole thing. So what this means up here, it means that whatever number that it gets, it's going to output it in two decimal places after the comma. But in this case, we do not want it to display it as two decimal places after the comma. Uh, this, okay, so, but it's good that I've mentioned this. So this is good whenever you're working with money. But in this case, we would want it to show something like this. So let's see if this is going to work. Okay. Yeah. 22, 1, 1, 1, 1. 
and then you say 130 and there you have it is able to work now it's going to give me the number 87 percent so this is because whenever i get here i'm forcing this to not have any any decimal uh place if i wanted it to have two decimal places after the comma i'll put a comma and put two hashtags after the comma this is going to take me to two decimal places after the comma hence i said that that one is good whenever you're working with money but since in this case we are working with a max max your percentage mark whenever it comes out it's never in a decimal format it's always in a full digit number and there you have it this is how you actually work with your interface and you also work with your money class and how you implement them and uh, till the next time we drop please make sure you like share and subscribe and comment on our videos because we use your comments in order for us to come up with ideas just give us uh, a question or any idea or any exercise that you want us to run through and we're going to do that exercise and then we're going to drop it on the channel that's it from me cheers